salon. This is how I walked out of the salon. <laughs> I just had her put it in a high ponytail because I'm going to do some twists um, in a few seconds. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like. So I'll take it down out of here. Uh, my experience at the salon was good. Um, I felt really bad <laughs> for the stylist because my hair was just ratchet. Like, it's, ugh, it was raggedy. I mean, just to put it bluntly. Um, so it was very tough to comb through, like, with a regular comb, like a wide tooth comb, and with the blow dryer comb. Um, but she was very patient <laughs> with me, so I do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so it went pretty well. I'll say that I got about three to four inches cut off in the front, and about five inches cut off in the back so it was it was really more like a cut um, she showed me how much she was gonna cut off prior to her doing it which I appreciated her doing that uh, because initially she was like you know do you just want to cut off the ends <laughs> and I was like no I need to cut off what needs to be cut off and those ends were the ends and up were just raggedy so um, you know, I can run my fingers through it now, as you can see. Yay! Um, and I still have quite a bit of hair. So let me turn around and show you. I'll do comparison shots at the end so you can got, you can see uh, where my hair was after I removed my locks versus today. So, um, but this is what it looks like. Okay. And um, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Uh, you know, when she showed me how much she needed to take off, she also showed me where my hair is broken throughout my head. And it didn't come as a big surprise that I had breakage because when you're picking out locks, you're going to incur damage. That's just the name of the game. Um, that's the risk that you take when you take a pick or, you know, you take the end of a comb or like I did a um, paper clip and rip through your hair <laughs> so I wasn't surprised by the fact that she told me I had I still have damage throughout my head um, but that's just the reality of it and you know if you are out there and you're thinking about doing the same thing removing your locks by picking them out just expect the damage to be there um, and so she showed me that and honestly, I probably could have got another two to three inches cut off. Um, and that might have gotten rid of all of the damage. Um, however, I'm unsure because, you know, I'm not the stylist. I can't see where all the damage is. She just showed me in the back where it was. And it looked like it was about maybe, yeah, maybe about three more inches that she could have cut off. Um, but we stopped right here. And, you know, I was fine with that for today. I did ask her, what do I need to do from here? Because, you know, I understand damage can wreak havoc on your strands if it stays in your hair for so long. So, uh, what she suggested was that I come back for another trim in three months. And she also suggested that I deep condition my hair every time I shampoo. And the deep conditioner I use is this one. It's just a pack. You can get these from Walmart, Walgreens, wherever. Um, and I really like that. So that's what I'm going to be using after every shampoo. Um, because what she was explaining was as I uh, have new growth grow out and as we're cutting off the dead, you know, ends or the damaged parts, um, eventually, you know, the damage will decrease and I'll have more uh, healthy hair growing out. Um, than the damaged parts that are that are currently there. So um, that made sense to me, and I will be doing that. I have no problem going back to her and having her trim off these ends because at the end of the day, I want healthy hair. So that's about it. Yeah, so um, I'm going to put some loose two-strand twists in my hair. I will show you guys uh, what those look like um, at the end. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, again, just be warned if you choose to pick out your locks that you will have damage, and um, 
it can be quite severe. So, um, but I am glad to have hair on my head, and, you know, to me it looks pretty good, so I'm pleased. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys.